bringing the people behind our food to life. So today we're making some bone marrow and smoked cherry ice cream. Working with ice cream, it's really fun because you can combine quite a few different flavors and you're working with cream, which is a relatively neutral base. And so putting together these flavors like bones and marrow bone, and for example, is kind of the key flavor in a lot of beef stocks. And then taking smoked cherries and adding a sweet, really complex flavor to it adds a little bit of excitement. So to start, we've got the bones. Um, we're working with just marrow bones that you can get really at any butcher. Uh, and we're just going to blanch them real quick just to loosen up the marrow in them. And then uh, just a touch of salt to help flavor. Blanching them in particular, uh, it's just kind of a quick shock to, to cook them relatively quickly. We're not cooking it all the way through in this first step. This is merely just to loosen it up and help us work with the product. So they're going to be finished here. Um, again, we're not going for all the way cooked through. We're going to do that later. Um, basically, all we want here is to loosen them up. We'll just take it and strain it. So yeah, we loosen them up. Um, and again, they're going to be really quite simple to scoop out. Just use the back of the spoon, give it a twist, and it plops out. Uh, they will be a little red. We're going to cook them now. Don't fret. Ooh, that was a good one. So again, this is the cooking process here, where we really want to render out that marrow and cook out all the impurities so that we can strain them out. So we'll just do it kind of over medium high heat until it's all juicy and delicious. I really wanted to work with bone marrow in particular because it's it's really a great ingredient that often gets overlooked. It's the base of all these beef stocks that the uh, vast majority of our sauces are made out of. And so taking it and serving it in more of a primal form highlights that certain ingredient and is really a fun way to, to work with bone marrow. So this is cooked quite well. Um, again, we just rendered out that marrow and we'll just strain out now those the chunks and uh, all the impurities and we can just, just strain out those impurities now. Now we're going to make the ice cream base. Um, so ice cream base is relatively simple, uh, just a couple things you want to focus on. We don't use eggs in our ice cream base just because I you get a cleaner flavor without the eggs. Um, you can really taste the bone marrow instead in this, for this one. Um, all it is, it's just cream and milk. And then we use uh, sugar and xanthan gum. Uh, xanthan gum's really easy to work with. It's a nice thickener and it adds just a bit of bite to your ice cream. I like to mix my sugar and my xanthan gum together and it'll just whisk in a little bit easier that way. Just add it slowly to your, your cream, whisking it all in. You're gonna have a few chunks with that xanthan, but uh, if we cook it properly, it'll cook out quite easily. And we'll kick it on medium heat. We want to come up just to under a boil, just to activate that xanthan and cook that sugar into it. And so stir relatively constantly until it comes to a thick, thick cream. So 
So we're just there. Um, you can see in the texture of the cream it, that xanthan is starting to activate. If you want, you can double check with a spoon. You just pull a streak through and you can see a clear streak there. Um, so that's a perfect texture for the ice cream. Uh, we'll just take it off heat and emulsify in this bone marrow that we extracted earlier and just pour it in really slowly and whisking hard. You've got two fats going into each other, so you gotta almost beat them together. That's our bone marrow base. So let this cool. Ideally, you're gonna let it cool overnight. Um, it lets the flavors kind of come together and really uh, pull out that, that bone marrow flavor into the ice cream. Um, and it freezes quicker. So you can work with uh, fresh cherries or canned cherries. Come fresh cherry season, it's, those are by far the best to work with. Um, and it's fun to, you can actually take the cherries and smoke them, which is fun. We're gonna do something slightly different. Um, we've got uh, the cherry juice from the canned cherries. And so we'll combine that with some, some smoked tea here. And then we want a bit of vanilla. And instead of smoking the cherries, we smoked some of our bourbon which all you do, you just put a pan of bourbon in a smoker and let it sit for a couple hours. And it's got really great flavor. So we want to heat them up to really bring all the flavors together. So we bring it to simmer just for a minute. And again, that's just to infuse all the flavors. And we'll strain it on top of our cherries. And so these cherries, you're gonna let them cool and soak in all that flavor overnight. And then uh, all of a sudden you get these cherries, which are amazing, and they've infused all the flavor and rested, and they're delicious, and you have smoked cherries. Um, we wanna use the cherry juice and the cherries, so we wanna strain out the cherry juice and cook it down. The biggest thing is we wanna cook it down because we don't want water in our ice cream kind of dilutes the, the texture. And so we'll cook that cherry juice down to syrup. So we cook down the cherry sauce down to a syrup, about a 50% reduction. Again, we just don't want to be adding too much water. And I think just in case we cooked out too much of the bourbon, we'll give it a nice splash. Um, not too much, you don't want to ruin the freezing properties of your ice cream, but you also want to have bourbon in there. We'll just mix that with our ice cream base. And there you go. We have a smoked cherry ice cream. Freezing it is really, really simple. There's a couple different techniques you can use. Um, <clears throat> we have a, a small home freezer that is amazing. Um, let me pull it out. So it's really simple because we can do like 50 different batches in one day and uh, we don't have to refreeze a bowl or anything. Uh, if you do get like the KitchenAid attachments, those are nice, you can only use them once a day. Uh, another trick is to, you could actually put it in your freezer and just break it apart every half an hour or so for the first four hours. It's not gonna be a real great texture, but at least it's ice cream. So, let's turn this on. And now we wait for it to freeze. You want it to freeze till it's a soft serve texture. And, and then after that, we can do all our mix-ins. So we can prep our mix-ins right now, which our mix-ins are those cherries that we cured. So we've got our cherries. We want to chop them up so that we can mix them into the ice cream. The ice cream is just about finished churning. 
So we'll just chop them up nice bite-sized pieces. And then we'll just put them straight into the ice cream. We'll let the machine do all the work. About half of them will be good. And so we want to pull the ice cream out and pour it into the pints. You should get about two pints out of this recipe. Um, really, any container will work as long as it's airtight. Uh, and we want to be able to put it in the freezer. Again, it's a soft serve texture, so it, we can mix pretty much anything into this uh, soft serve ice cream and it's gonna freeze really nicely in the freezer. Cap it. And then freeze them upside down so that the uh, top freezes to the, to the lid and we don't have any air to kind of uh, get some of the keep the freezer funk out of the ice cream and then it freezes nicely to the top no air crystals and that's it we'll take it to the freezer let's go get the ice cream okay so we let it freeze overnight we froze it upside down um, so that the top is just nice and beautiful and it looks so wonderful to scoop out of. And we'll just get the perfect scoop. And there it is. Bone marrow ice cream with smoked cherries. Without bees, um, there would be no cherries. And without the honeybees that we use that are provided to us by migratory beekeepers, there'd be far less cherries here than, uh, uh, than what we have now.